Right, enough of this, Paul. Yep. Let's get sensible. Yeah. Uh-huh. What have we got today then, Paul? Uh, we have, funnily enough, the little freak. Or the mini freak, sorry. The mini freak show. We've already reviewed this quite a while ago, the freak show. Now we've got the mini freak show, so we're going to build them up exactly the same. We're going to show you up close. Yeah. Yep. Then we're going to vape them and we're going to tell you what we think of it. Cool. Does that sound good? Good to me. Let's do it. To me. To me. To you. Let's do it. So, this is what we were sent the mini freak show in. <laughs> yep, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, within that box, there was. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone was having a joke on us, Paul. I think so, mate. Hi, guys, sorry for this interruption. Um, I just got a phone call from Robert Vape Geek. I didn't realise that the actual box that the um, freak show comes in also doubles up as a mod um, he sent me a couple of um, 7650 batteries which fit in the bottom here um, you fit the freak show to the top of the uh, device um, it has a fat daddy vapes 510 connection on the top um, very very sensible has a uh, an anti inebriation uh, drip well around the outside of the atty which is very good um, comes with a nice little stainless steel um, fire button on the side there um, yeah so let's give it a vape see what it's like yeah it vapes very nice very powerful so yeah overall I'm very impressed with the box not brilliantly portable um, if you're going out and about it's probably not the best device but uh, as an indoor mod you know for a desk mod perfect so yeah they like to do some different things uh, down at Watufo so well done for them keep the uh, developments going um, really good anyway back to the review What we have here, as usual, the Watufo metal tins, which do come in handy for all different sorts of purposes, false teeth and uh, alike. The Atty, we'll put to one side. <coughs> Allen key. Some spare O-rings and three spare grub screws. Right, the device. Check that out. Mm. That is a cute one. <clears throat> Let's do a little compare. There we go. There's our original. Seriously, like sm- reduced, isn't it? Much, much smaller. It is. They both got three fins on the top. The original one was a flat top, and uh, as Paul rightly said to me a moment ago, that curve on that top. Very subtle. But it's yeah. nice. It's there and it's nice. Really like that. Just looks a lot more solid. Yeah. The whole thing just seems to be a thicker metal. It's, it's good. The logo they have put on it. Let's you see that. <coughs> and the 510 on there. It's a non adjustable 510, but you don't need to adjust it. We've checked it out and it works on pretty much all devices. Very sensible. And then on the bottom, you have your usual freak show serial number, etc. etc. <clears throat> top cap. It is a one piece top cap on this device. I need something to unscrew it with. Should be able to do it on a pinch. I found them not nice fit the O-rings. Uh, so there we go, there's our deck. Now if we go, I'm just gonna show you the box. very small comparison between the two decks. So we have the mini here and we have the original here um, the main difference is actually the length of the posts is the first thing you'll notice on the standard freak show they're quite long and you have round holes in it on the mini they're quite small Ooh, sorry 
and you have slotted holes in them. Show me that one again, the first one, the large one. Look, the posts are separate and the second one, they're milled out of it. Yeah. The legs. Yeah, they're pressed, whereas they're milled. Well spotted. Apart from that, the actual airflow does exactly the same thing. It comes up from underneath. Now the other major difference, apart from the physical size of it, i.e. height, is the fact that the original Freak Show was a dual, dual, dual coil only device. Now on the Mini, although the yeah. deck you would look at and you would say that is a dual coil only device, on the actual top cap you will notice that it has three air slots rather than two so that would lend to believing that you could run just one airflow personally I don't think I would because of the fact that you've got these facing downwards to me that would lend to leakages if you put it down on its side like that and then came up but obviously you do have the opposite one blocked off by the body so haven't actually tried it like that yet but what we're going to do is we're going to build them both at uh, around we decided on 0.7 somewhere like 0.7 well, so that smaller one i think 0.7 is about as low as you want to go if you're using it on a bit yep so we're going to build them yep. both at around a 0.7 ohm and we're going to compare them like that um the only other little thing and i'm not sure if it was the same on the original can't actually see it i might be going mad here let me just have a look. It's no, all one piece. piece. Yeah. No, I wasn't actually looking at that. I was looking at the colour in there, thinking is that a Del Rim piece in there? But I don't think it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. There's a Del Rim section in there. Can you see it? To reduce the heat to a drip tip. And on the original, we have exactly the same. And I never noticed that. Just goes to show how rubbish I am, seeing as I've had that one for a long time. Anyway. <coughs> Should we chuck a build in it, Paul? Let's, yeah, let's build them up and uh, see how they vape. Okay, so there we go. We've yes, built both of them. They're all about 0.6. A uh, little bit lower than we said, but hey. Um, <clears throat> right, a couple of things you need to see on these. Freak shows, this is something you need to make sure. Obviously, you have your air coming in below the coil. You want the air to be able to travel both behind and in front of the coil and when you drop the juice in from the top you don't want to see those air holes so you want the coils to be outside or, or almost over those holes and centralized um, <clears throat> so when you're dropping your juice in you want to be dropping your juice around this area here um, more than around this area here so you can just see if i hold it like that you can see quite clearly there's the air hole going down there but from the top, you're not seeing them. And that's perfect. So the air's going to flow both sides. Anyway, should we put some tops on and vape them? Yeah, I'll put some juice in first, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, shall we compare our build, see how the vape goes? Yeah, we're back. Hmm. I'm getting a lot more vape in you, Paul. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Hey. Go on, oh. fess up, fess up. Right, what well, this is, <laughs> the first one's got a two-part barrel and top cap arrangement, which means you can fit a shove cap. Go on, like for like. Well, mm. nice. I'll tell you what I'm going to try with this, though. I'm a little bit fearful these batteries are on the way. On the wane, shall we say? Wayne. On the wane, little Wayne. baby. What we can do with this is this is the. Uh... He can turn the power up now. That's what he's trying to do. No, what I'm not. He's trying to con me. He's trying to con a conner. Trying to con a conner. There we go. Let's put this on here. It's... Never kid a kidder. Never con a conner. That's all I can say to you. Right. So differences. Two part trip tip. Versus a uh, sorry two part trip tip on the old one, the new one is just or the mini is a single part trip tip and barrel. The other difference is the mini can be run in single coil mode, 
whereas the um, old one is a dual coil only. Any other differences? Apart from the obvious, the height. The height, the, um, well, the uh, milled out uh, neck posts yeah. on the deck. I think we showed that in the closing. Which is actually better on the Mini, having the milled out post rather than the press fitted ho uh, post. You're always likely that you could get an issue with a press fit hose. Uh, hose? Did I say hose? Hose. Host. Hole. <laughs> um, so that's the main differences. Yeah, good to be able to say hose hole. Right. That's enough of the comparison. Um, right. Mini alone, on its own. Overall, Paul, what's your impressions? Right, I don't know if it's apparent in the close-up, but the build quality is really good. Really nice, nicely finished, lovely finish on it. It's got a little bit, I know, you know we keep, tend to go on about this, but it's got a nice little bit, even just the, uh, the top cap and barrel element on its own has got a bit of weight. Um, it's just nice, it's just nice. Nice vape. Is I like it. I like as one of Paul's favourite words. I'm going to nick it. Form factor. You should see it on this nice. mini box. It mm. looks absolutely stunning. It does. It's quite nice in the little uh, smock here as well. Mm. It's cute. It is. Very very nice. Right. Should we do some pros and cons? Okay, start with the uh, pros. Okay, now if I just want to, I'm not that I'm, you know, gleeful or anything like that. Just want to let you know I slaughtered him on both pros and cons last time. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that I keep going on about it at all, do I? No, 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 no. You never want to labour a point, are you? No, not at all. So, right, pros. Go on, before you start off. Bill quality. Yep, I'll go along with that. I'll go for, I like the fact that it's got an even smaller logo than the big baby. <laughs> well, it's not much room on it for anything. <laughs> much more of a Is logo. Is it a pro or not? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. From, our, from our subjective point of view, it's definitely a pro. You next. Okay, then. Um, the ability to run a single coil with the airflow to suit. Okay. I'm going to go for... Form factor. Do you want me to tell you that I've already got another one in reserve to put you under pressure? No. <laughs> so I'm going to come out with it because otherwise we'd be here all day. No, 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 no. I've got one. I've got one. Go on I have then. Got one. I have got Off one. Off the top of your head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Right, enough cord. Reduced chamber improves flavour somewhat. Paul, is there any flavour difference between these two? Yes. Slightly. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let him have that one. I'm going to let him have that one just because I'm being generous and I'm going to come back with milled negative posts. Oh, that was my first get one. Get him. What? Or my second one. No, you haven't said it. Have. You said it in the you said it in the differences. You didn't say it in the pros and cons. Okay, 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 okay. So you're nicking something I said in the differences <coughs> and Paul, using it against me. Paul, have you got one to come back with? Well, we're now even. Yeah, have you? I got, started. Have you got I, one started. To come up? I started. I um, started. The I like. Sorry guys, I, I like the about this. minimal brushed finish. You're really scraping the barrel now. Oh, like low okay. dose sizes. All right. I like the two fins on the top round the outside edge. I like the stamped logo on the bottom round the 510. Take it off, I want to see it. Oh, this will take some time now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I really do apologise. Okay, okay. So if you were you're coming up with childish bleeding stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that it's all very, very nice. I like that. It's not there! <laughs> Alright, I've got another one, and I'm going to win this. 
I love the curved top. I think it's much nicer than the flat top on the big one. Oh, get in there. Right, cons. I won cons. that, by the way. No, I started it. In it. Yeah, you started it and I finished it. Yeah, okay. so that's evens. Yeah, but I did too. You didn't do one. It wasn't there. There was no stamped thing on the bottom. There was. Oh, we'll show it again just because you're blinking blind. Come on, we haven't got time. Six minutes. Let's go. Quick, 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 yeah, quick, but you're quick. showing it to the camera, not to me. There is no stamped logo on there. What's all that? That's writing, that's engraving. You can't say engraving is a plus point. Sorry guys, I really do apologise. I've let him out tonight. And um, I know they'll be taking him away. I've only got him for another half an hour, so I have to get him back before the white coat's come along and whip him off. So I want that one. Missed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Before I'm missed. Before I'm missed. His ankle tag starts vibrating violently. Okay, let's go to cons. Give me a con. Or should I start? No, go on, you start. I'll start with the cons. Very tight when it comes to getting your wick in the build deck. I think that's a very minute con, and I think that's been very over fussy of you, Paul. Okay. Your con. I ain't got one. I love it. <laughs> so, actually, I win. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, I've got another one. The uh, grub screws, though, oh sorry, that's my le 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 next pro. You uh, can't go back to pros, no. Okay, just to stamp home the fact that the grub okay, screws, brilliant. Yeah, hex screws all, are a much better idea. All mods from now on, get rid of all the posi drives, don't like them, they're pants, give us hex drive, proper heads, we want to tighten down our cam for properly. Simple as that. Yeah, but a con is that the screws are a little bit shonky. The threads on the post and everything are a little bit, it's not as good as it could be. I, I haven't even noticed that. I found them fine, didn't have a problem with them. I know, but I built this one. Yeah, well, I've built it before, no problems. So, in our roundup, another pro. I'm so sorry. I really do apologise about the this. The price. This is stonking value. For an original genuine atomizer, £17 or thereabouts is hard to hard to beat, really. You can't argue with that. All the Watufo by Amod's equipment is brilliant value for money. And this uh, doesn't change it. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, I love this device and I'm so, so pleased I've got it. Mm. really am. Um, Sorry, I did miss the price actually, it's not £17, that's excluding the VAT, including VAT that would be uh, £19, 99, 20 quid here in the UK. We got it from vapekeep.co.uk. Yep. We didn't get charged any extra for the ridiculous size packaging. <laughs> Cheers Rob. Nice one mate. See you later guys. Thanks. That's a thumbs up, by the way, from both of us. Yes, yeah, definitely, <laughs> in case you was confused. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.